Amen. It's time to worship God. It's time to worship God. This is the day that the Lord has made. We came. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. You know, I was listening to the, the uh, service and what came to my mind. I don't have to wait. Yes. I don't have to wait to praise God when the praise team come. I praise them now. Because this is the last Sunday of 2018. You sure have a praise in it. When I think of the goodness of the Lord and all he done for me this year, I didn't lose my mind. Good God of my, I got my health and strength. Good God, woo, he gave it to me. Don't you know I'm 70 years old and I feel like I'm 30 years old? Could God help me to lose my weight? God help me. When I didn't want to go to the gym, God put me on the job to make me lose this weight. I didn't, I still don't like my job, but I'm losing my weight. Good God of my Woo! I feel like fire. Shut up in my bone. I don't know about you, but you got some fire. Shut up in your bone. Let everybody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't worry about who's standing beside you. Give him the praise. So God get the honor. Don't waste that. Tell you clap your hand. You clap your hand because God has been good to you. Woo. 2018, Lord, have mercy. Woo! Woo! God is good. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. You keep serving and see what he do. My, 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 my. Live by this word. Woo! What a difference. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. I ain't been to church in few Sundays. Popping in, popping out, going to work. Got to go to work today. But I've been at both service today. Woo! It's a blessing to be in church one more time. One more time. But by the grace of God, we're still here. Still here. That's Mother Purvis. Still here. Still here. Sister Kelly. Still here. We still here. Hey! My, 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 my. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, he done for me. My soul say hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. That's the ushers to hold the door. Oh, God, we come again in the name of Jesus. This last Sunday of 2018, we come here to thank you, Lord God. Yes, we thank you when you woke us up. We come together as you brought us together one more time. Say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for us this year, that you get the glory out of life. Thank you, Lord, we didn't lose our mind. We might have lost some things, but we're still here. We thank you for our health and strength. We come here to worship you and praise you because you are God. You are the father of our soul. You are our creator. You are our redeemer. You are our savior, Lord Jesus. You're the Lord of our life. We just thank you. Father, we just thank you. Only you could do it, Jesus. Only you. Father, we just thank you for Jesus Christ. Thank you for your presence among us today, Lord God. We ask you to continue to speak to our heart. I know you spoke to my heart early today in the sermon. I know you're going to speak to the hearts that are here today to remind us 
God be for you, who going to be against you? Hey, we just thank you. We have a mind of Christ. We just thank you. Oh, glory. Bless the pastor. Let the word come out like fire. Hey, to our soul, Lord Jesus. Speak to our heart. You've been speaking all the time. But this last Sunday, seal it, Jesus, with your presence, with your anointing. We just thank you. You are so wonderful. Bring the rest of our families together today, Lord God. And the ones that can't make it, the ones in the sick, shut in, Lord God, be with them. Speak to their hearts today. Because you are everywhere, Lord God. We just thank you for you being so faithful to us and to everyone in this world. You are the faithful one. And Father, we just say thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Truly, God is good. Isn't he good, y'all? He allowed us to see another Sunday, the last Sunday of a new year. That is something to be thankful for. Um, at this time, I will be reading for your listening ears and your receiving heart. Psalms 34. I'll be reading the first uh, three verses. And it says, I will bless the Lord. At all times, his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. I said, my soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. And this is something you all can say along with me and join me in saying it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together the word of the lord has already been blessed and may you be as well amen amen hallelujah let's remain standing for our morning hymn saved saved by his power divine anybody glad you're saved this morning i said anybody glad you're saved this morning Look at somebody and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm saved. Hallelujah.
Come on, one more time. Everybody say, I'm saved. Saved by His. Saved. Sublime life. One more time, everybody put your hands on us. Say, I'm saved, saved by his saved to new life, sublime life, and my joy is complete. I am saved. How many are glad you're saved today? Come on, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. God has brought us to the last Sunday of the year. You ought to make some noise in this house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. You may be seated in his presence. We want to welcome our first-time visitors today. If you're visiting with us for the first time um, on a Sunday morning, can you please stand? Any first-time visitors? You've never been here on a Sunday morning. Anybody? 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 Any first-time visitors? Now, you know you're in church. You can't be lying now. So we want you to stand if you're a first-time visitor so we can celebrate you. You don't have to say anything. There we go. All right. All right. Come on, let's give it up. We're so happy to have you today. Our hospitality ministry has a gift for you. We welcome you to this place. Let's give it up for our sister one more time. Thank you for coming and worshiping with us today. Amen. All right, the choir is going to come in their own way. Come on, choir. Amen.
Anybody got a testimony in the house? Somebody shout, I've got a testimony. I said, somebody shout, I've got a testimony. You can't tell it, but let me tell it. God has done great things for me. Whereof I am glad. Somebody shout, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say, after all that I've been through, I still got a testimony. Hallelujah to Jesus. He's been good to me. Hallelujah. He's been just that good. Look at somebody and say, he's been just that good. I've got to praise him. I've got to give him the glory. I've got to give him the honor. I wish I had a grateful people in the building on the last Sunday of the year to open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Think back. 
back over my life. And I think about the things that God has done for me. I tell you, I can't thank him enough. I can't do it. Bless his name. 
praise him and thank him for everything. Hey! Yeah! Oh! Jesus, for everything, everything, everything you've done. Whoa! I gotta praise you. I gotta thank you. I gotta thank you, Lord. Boy! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For we've been. He's been good. He's been so good. He's been so good. He's been so good. Yes, sir. He's been good. Has he been good to you? Yeah. 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 I gotta thank you. I gotta thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Wow. Oh. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody ought to praise him right here. Come on, somebody ought to give him glory right here. My testimony is, he's been just that good. Anybody know he's been good? Somebody open up your mouth and give him praise. I've got to praise him. I've got to praise him. I've got to praise him. You don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. You don't know like I know how he set me free. So I've got to praise him. You don't know like I know, so I've got to praise him. Is that your testimony this morning? After all you've been through just in 2018, you ought to lift your voice and say, so I've... Come on, all over the house, everybody ought to have your hands lifted because you survived another year. You ought to lift your voice and say, so I. He's been so good to me. It's because of his grace and it's because of his mercy that we're standing here today. So I, so God to praise him. Let's go out. For he's been, for he just that good, just that good. Somebody ought to bless him for his goodness. Somebody ought to bless him for his goodness. He's been good to me. Yeah. Come on, all over the building, just thank God for keeping you all year long. If you don't. Thank him for nothing else. You ought to just lift your hands and say, thank you. Millions didn't make it, but you made it. Come on. You're still here. Come on. So, I've I can't help myself. Come on, church. So, I got to praise him. Ooh. He kept you all year long. Oh, 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 oh. 
So I I never would have made it I never would have made it without the Lord Hey, so He's been so good He's been so kind Listen, New Year's Eve may not come. You better thank him for right now. So, so, so. I got to praise him. Oh, yes, I do. So many times this year you thought you weren't going to make it, but God kept you. So. God to praise him. 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 I can't help myself. God to praise him. I gotta give him all the glory. God to praise him. I gotta give him all the praise. God to praise him. 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 Why? Because it's been, because it's been, because it's been, yeah. Oh, he's been just, just that, that oh, good, good, yeah. Come on, give him glory. Come on, give him honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless his name. I got to praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Just go to five people to tell them somehow we made it. Come on in fellowship. Somehow we made it. Come on, somehow. <laughs> somehow we made it. God's been good. Come on in fellowship. Oh, yes. just can't give up now I come too far from where I started from anybody know what I'm talking about nobody told me the road I don't believe he brought me this far. Can you just thank him? I know it's old school, but y'all can go there. Come on. Whoa. I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I start. Come on, sing it one more time. We're moving. Oh, I just can't give up now. Yeah. I've come too far from where I saw
He's brought me this far. I don't believe He's brought me this far. Somebody lift up your hands all over the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After all that we've been through, our testimony is that God has been good. It's because of the Lord's mercy that we have not been consumed. Depression couldn't consume us. Anxiety couldn't consume us. Sickness could not consume us. Disease could not consume us. Low self-esteem could not consume us. The spirit of wanting to give up did not consume us. And I just want to know, is there anybody in the building on the last Sunday of the year that can give a good God a good praise? Simply because you survived. Simply because you made it. Simply because you wanted to give up, but he didn't let you. Simply because you wanted to throw in the towel, but he, he snatched you back from the hand of the enemy. Come on, come on, don't, don't let me be your cheerleader. You ought to be your own cheerleader. You ought to reflect over January and February and, and March and April and May and June and July and August and September, October, November. And now we're here at December. And there were many times you could have given up. There were many days you wanted to give up. But some way, somehow, God made another way after another way after another way after another way. He allowed you to see a brand new day. He allowed you to see brand new mercies. Come on, I just need some worshipers in the house that can lift up your voices and lift up your hands and begin to celebrate the God that you serve. Come on, he's been good. He's been good. He's been kind. He's been merciful. He's been great. You are good, Lord. You are good. You've been so good. You've been so good. Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. Lord, I owe you my life. I can't praise you enough. Even if I try. You've been so good. To me, so many 
doors you've opened, so many ways you've made, so many times you've healed me. You've been better than good to me. So many doors you've opened, so many ways you've made, so many times you've healed me. You've been better than good to me. So many, so many doors you've opened, so many ways, so many ways you've made, so many times you've been better than good to me. So many doors. So many ways, so many ways, so many times, you've been better than good to me. So many doors, so many ways, so many times, you've been better than good to me. So many doors, so many ways. So many, times. so many times you've been better than good to me 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 so many doors so many so many ways so many times You've been better than good to me. So many doors, so many ways, so many times. You've been better than good to me. So many doors, so many ways, so many times. You've been better than good to me. So many doors. So many ways, so many ways, so many times, so many times. You've been better than good to me. So many doors, so many ways, so many times. You've been better than good to me. Say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I gotta say thank you. thank you. I gotta say thank you. Thank you. You've been good to me. Thank you. You've been good to me. Thank you. I gotta tell you thank you. 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 How you kept my mind. Thank you. How you kept my heart. Thank you. You didn't let me fall. Thank you. And I gotta say thank you. You've been so good. Thank you. You've been real good. Thank you. You've been mighty good. Thank you. Say thank you. You've been so good. Everybody say you so good. Everybody say you. You've been mighty good. You've been better than good. Come on, lift your hands. Everybody say you. So, so good. If it had not been for you, I don't know where I would be. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. If I had 10,000 tongues, it wouldn't be enough to praise you. It wouldn't be enough to thank you. So good. When I look back over my life, think about all the things you've done and all the ways you made. All the ways you made. All the ways you made. All the ways you made, you made a way, you made a way, you made a way, God, you made a way, 
Has he made a way for anybody in this place? You made a way. You made a way. You made a way. And I'm standing here only because you made. And I'm standing here only because you made. Come on, everybody say, and I'm standing only because. And I'm standing here only because. And I'm standing here only you made a you made a when my back was against the wall and it looked as if it was over Lord you you made a And I'm standing here only because you made. Everybody say, you made a way. You made a way. Come on, stay right there. Everybody say, you made a way. Yes, you did. I just need some grateful people to lift your hands and say, you made, made a way. Come on, you ought to think about it. Think about all the times that he brought you out. You made a way. Don't know how, don't know how, but you did it. You made Don't know how, but you But you Don't know how, but you But you don't know how, but you don't know how, but you did it. But you don't know how, but you did it. But you don't know how, but you did it. Lord, you me don't know how, but you did it. But you. Don't know, how, don't know how, but you, but you, don't know how, but you, you made, don't know how, but you, but you, don't know how, but you, but you. Don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. And I'm standing here only because. Come on, you want to testify. And I'm only because. Standing here. Come on, he's a great God, and I'm standing here. Yeah. Come on, if you're sitting, I need you to stand all over this house. Let's take a moment and worship the God that we serve, and I'm standing here. Everybody lift your hands. I'm standing here. Only because you One more time, I'm standing here. Only because Cause our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are. Come on everybody lift your voice, we got a reason to celebrate. Our God is healer, he's awesome in Sing our God. Come on everybody lift your voice, our God is greater, our God stronger, God you are. Our God, awesome in power, sing our God, everybody say our God is great, 
our God is strongest. God, you are higher than any our God. Awesome in power, say, sing our God. Come on, everybody, lift your voice. Say, greater, say, yes, he is. Say, greater, say, yes, he is. Say, stronger, say, yes, he is. Say, stronger, say, yes, he is. Said higher, higher, said yes, he is. Yes, he you is. are higher, higher, said yes, he is. Yes, he is. Say bigger, bigger, said yes, he is. Yes, he is. Say bigger, bigger, said yes, he is. Yes, he is. Say healer, healer, said yes, he is. Yes, he is. My healer, healer, said yes, he is. Yes, Provider, 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 way maker, way maker, way maker, way maker, he's greater, he's greater, he's greater, he's greater. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. He's higher than any other. He's a healer. He's a healer. He's a healer. He's a healer. He's a provider. He's a way maker. Anybody know who he is? Anybody know that our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are. Come on, you ought to be celebrating. Our God is healer, he's a, he's our God. Come on, somebody bless him if you know that he's greater. Come on, somebody bless him if you know that he's greater. If you know that he's greater, oh. Can you grab somebody's hand, please? And just stretch across. Father, we thank you. We thank you even right now. You are greater than any obstacle, than anything that the enemy will try to do to come against us. You're greater than any challenge. Father, you're so awesome that you have kept us all this year. Thank you, Lord. We rose early this morning to come to this house show our adoration to you thank you Lord for keeping our minds hallelujah God we thank you that what's to come is better than what's been thank you thank you now God we ask that you would just speak to our hearts these few moments and Give us divine instruction. We open our hearts to your word. Tell us, God, what you're calling us to. What direction, what move to make. And we thank you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say amen. Amen. Come on, clap your hands one more time. Oh, you can do better than that. Come on. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We invite you today to Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, chapter 24. And we want to look at that 16th verse, one verse today. 
It's always hard when on the last Sunday, Lord, what would you have me to say to your people? Proverbs 24, 16 says, For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked shall fall by calamity. This last Sunday of the year, I want to talk about bouncing back from a fall. You may be seated. Bouncing back from a fall. I believe that this time last year, many either took out a sheet of paper or discussed with somebody your New Year's resolutions. You made a New Year's, you made New Year's resolutions. You, you said in 2018, I want to my family to come back together. I want to build relationships in my family. And now we're almost at the end of 2018. And things have not happened exactly how you planned them. In fact, perhaps your family situation appears to not have improved at all. It might even appear that it's gotten worse. The end of last year, a year ago, there are many of you who said in 2018, I'm joining the gym. You put your clothes on, you went to the gym, you got a membership, and started good in January, but now, at the end of the year, you have not seen the gym, and the gym has not seen you. Y'all ain't got to say nothing, I know I'm preaching in here. 2018, I'm going to stop a habit. You said, I'm going to stop. I'm not doing it anymore. Here it is, the end of 2018. And it feels like you're struggling with the same situation. And it feels like you failed. Somebody said in 2018, I'm getting my finances together. But just a few weeks ago, 30% off, 40% off. Christmas is over, 70% off. Running up the credit cards again. Talk to me, somebody in here. And you feel like you failed again. 2018, I'm going to Bible study. I'm not going to be going to bingo on Wednesdays. And now, the end of the year, and you've only been to two. You feel like you've been failing. All of us in here are going to fall at some point on our journey. There's one thing that you have in common with the person sitting next to you. They've blown it and they made mistakes. Talk to me, somebody in here. I don't care how holy they look. I don't care how righteous they look. Is there anybody in here who has not made one mistake this year? If you have made a mistake, just holler at your boy and say, that's me. You preaching to me. But can I give you a public service announcement? It doesn't matter how many times you fall. What only matters is that you keep getting back up. Talk to me, somebody in here. Oh, this sermon is not for folk who will have a pity party. But this is for folk that understand that in life, sometimes you take a licking, but you keep on ticking. This sermon is for people that understand that, that what you were going through was just a setback. And your setback was a setup for your comeback. Touch three people, tell them, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back. I made mistakes, but I'm back. I, I've blown it, but I'm back. And God will have me to tell you to, to tell you on this last Sunday of the year, don't stop trying. 
Oh, the devil wants you to quit. The devil wants you to give up on your family. The devil wants you to give up on your fitness. The devil wants you to give up on your finance. The devil wants you to think that what you're going through or the habit that you have that you can't break out of it. The devil doesn't want you committed to God. But as long as you have breath in your body, you got to let the enemy know that I may fall down, but I got enough power to keep getting back up again. Who am I talking to in here that's been down, hit, hit rock bottom, gone through some tests, some trials, uh, some tribulations. You've done some stuff that you weren't proud of, but aren't you so glad that you can't keep a good man or a good woman down? Holler at your boy. Somebody show, yet I rise, yet I rise through persecution, yet I rise through the pressure, yet I rise through adversity. Oh, my brothers and sisters, uh, the best thing you can do for your haters is keep bouncing back. Oh, I wish I had somebody in this church uh, that made up your mind. Uh, I'm going to keep getting up. You got to persevere. You got to hang in there. I want you to know there's a cost for greatness. If you ever get around people who accomplish much, they will tell you that those accomplishments did not come without a price. That's why it bothers me when people are jealous of other people. Because you don't know the price they paid. I'm preaching to somebody in here. Would you tell somebody I paid the price to get here? You don't know. I, I don't have to tell you my business, but just understand it ain't always been like this. Uh, can, can I just preach like Drake said it? Started from the bottom now. Oh, I wish I had a witness in here. It cost to get here. Oh, God. Some people make an exception. They make an assumption and they assume that everything you achieved came without a price. But can you just be honest and take your church hat off for a minute and be honest. You made mistakes to get here. You Come on somebody. You blown it to get here. And you just had to have enough strength to keep picking yourself up and picking yourself up and picking yourself up. Look at you now. Look where the Lord Look where he's brought you from. Anybody know he brought you from a mighty long way? You may not be where you want to be, but thank God you're not where you used to be. I dare somebody to shout, he brought me. No, I don't get cute. This is the last Sunday of the year. Turn down for what? Somebody open up your mouth and say, he brought me. <laughs> I should have been dead, but he brought me. I should have lost my mind, but he brought me. I should have gave up in March, but he brought me. And my testimony is, if it had not... Y'all excuse me, I'm happy. If it had not been for the Lord, where would I be? Uh. The trophy, the trophy is never given to someone who doesn't complete the task. Setbacks are just setups for God to show what he is able to do. Some of you say, Pastor D, I'm feeling that because uh, I know I wouldn't have made it this far unless God stepped in my situation. Anybody know God showed you how awesome he was uh, in the midst of your setback? And I don't know who this is for this morning. But on the last Sunday of this year, God told me to tell you it's not over for you yet. I'm going to talk to my friends in this section. It's not over yet. As long as you have breath in your body, it's not over. Can I have somebody talk to that neighbor? Come on, you shouldn't have sat by him if you ain't want to talk to him. Say, I'm not dead yet. And as long as I got breath in my body, there's a come up in my spirit. I wish I had somebody that got some bump, oh God, some bounce back in your spirit and will let the devil know you can hit me as hard as you want, but as long as I got breath in my body, I'm getting back up again. Yeah. 
Yes. You can recover from a fall. You can recover from a fall. I'm a witness that you can recover from a fall. Oh God. There's some of you this year that have fallen privately. Uh, but there's some of you that fall in publicly where the family knew all of your business uh, and folk was talking about you uh, uh, but can I tell you this morning uh, the same ones that saw you fall if they keep looking they gonna see you get back up again Touch your neighbor say, watch me get up. Watch me get up. Try to knock me down. Watch me get up. Try to stop me. Watch me get up. I'm too close to stay down. If you look at the life, please be seated of Jesus. The whole theme of Christianity is one of rising again. The whole theme of Christianity is about rising again. You want to talk about an ultimate mess, but an incredible turnaround? Just look at the time of Jesus on earth. Talk about turnaround. Jesus, he came to earth to personally solve our sin problem. Yet, he came to help, but was rejected. Y'all don't hear me in here. I said he came to help, but he was rejected. Some of you in 2018 came to help people, but they rejected it. Y'all don't hear me. And God told me to tell you, if they rejected you, don't take that mess with you into your new year. Some folk, you got to learn how to let go. I'm talking better than you talking back to me. When they rejected Jesus, he didn't try to get them to make him stay. He kicked the dust off his feet and Jesus kept it moving. Can I give you a simple word from heaven? Keep it moving now. He was betrayed by a friend. Some of you at the beginning of this year thought some folk that smiled in your face was your friend. The ones you prayed for. The ones you paid for. Bought the bill at the table. Y'all don't hear me in here. But can I make a public service announcement? There's some folks that had to go so God can make room for something greater. And some people who love you and really appreciate you. He, Jesus was deserted by his followers. I want you to know, beloved, the older you get, your followers going to get smaller. The older you get, your friend list going to get smaller. But you ought to celebrate and thank God for moving all the corny and phony people out of your life. Y'all don't hear me in here. Somebody ought to give God a praise of the folk that he moved out of your life. Y'all not hearing me in here. That were toxic and not good for you. He then, talk about Jesus, was tortured and killed. At that point, humanity's destruction was not only justified, it was sealed. It was, it was a damnable Friday, but then suddenly, everything changed. I'm just talking about Jesus. After they buried him, the next thing you know, Jesus is alive. And he was resurrected. You can't keep a good man. You can't keep a good woman down. Is there anybody that understands uh, in order to have a resurrection, uh, you've got to go down. Y'all don't hear me in here. And some people don't know uh, because they seen you struggling this year. Uh, and they seen you going to do some stuff. Uh, what they didn't know is, uh, hallelujah, uh, you're at the border of your come up. Uh, I wish I had somebody in here that know after all you've been through this year, God's about to raise you up and take you to another level. <sighs> but you're going to have obstacles. Sometimes obstacles will trip you up. But it doesn't matter what tripped you up. The only thing that matters is that you rise up. 
Because if you're going to do anything great, every now and then, you're going to fail. People who never experience things like that, uh, they're in a safety place. They're, they're being dormant. They're not, they're, they're, nothing is won. Nothing is lost. These are people that's stuck in neutral. They, these are people like, uh, yeah, thank you, Holy Ghost. The disciples, when the storm came uh -huh, and Jesus came walking on the water and Peter said, Lord, if it's you, bid me to come. Uh, and everybody in the boat is looking at Peter like he's crazy because Peter didn't want to settle for mediocre. They're looking at Peter like he's crazy. But can I tell you something? Thing. I would ra rather uh, nearly drown and have to be saved than to play it safe and never experience the miraculous in my life. Uh, somebody needs to make a public service announcement to everybody connected to you that in this next season of your life, you refuse to be a boat hugger when you can be a water walker and you're ready to step out on faith. Uh, uh. We all will fall. We all will make mistakes. But oftentimes in the body of Christ, people are more concerned about the details of how another Christian failed than the person that failed. Because inquiring minds, y'all don't got to say that. I know I'm preaching to you in here. And that's why you got to be careful because uh, it may be somebody's season to fall now. Uh, but you never know when your day is coming. Uh, what are you going to do to help your brother or sister up? Uh, Galatians chapter 6 uh, verse 1 says, If your brother or your sister is overtaken in a trespass, in a sin, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of meekness, uh, considering yourself, uh, lest you also be tempted. Can I just walk and eyes that and tell you? When you see somebody fall, don't beat down on them, but lift your hand out to help them back up. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can be standing today, but we can be falling tomorrow. And we don't know who we're going to need to lend a hand to pick us back up. That's why you ought to give God praise for who he put in your life that can pray for you. Give God praise for who he put in your life that can lend a hand when you fall. The church has to get it right. When somebody makes a mistake, lift them back up. Don't talk about people who sin differently than you. Oh, y'all thought it was a big sin? I know y'all thought it was a little sin. Uh, uh, don't be tripping. Uh, stop talking about people who sin differently than you. Hallelujah. <sighs> the text says that a just man falls seven times. It did not say a wicked man. It did not say a trifling man. It did not say an evil man, but it says a just man, which lets us know that we as believers are going to mess up. We're going to blow it. We're going to make bad decisions. We're prone to sin. Fall short. Mr. Mark, I know your neighbor's sitting there quiet, acting like they never messed up, never missed the mark. Never did anything, but the devil is a liar. All have sinned. Y'all not talking to me, y'all making me nervous. Not y'all, all have sinned. And when you make a mistake and you blow it, the biggest lie the devil will tell you is that it has to always be like this. But can I just preach to you and tell you it doesn't always have to be like this. Hallelujah. Because your fall doesn't have to become a stronghold. God is a God that's able to pick you back up. God is a God that's able to deliver you. The just man falls seven times. But he rises again. He keeps getting back up. I told you this before, I'll tell you again. 
When I was a kid, I had one of the dumbest toys ever. First of all, you had to take this inflatable thing. Then you had to blow all this air into it. And then it had a dumb clown on there. And the clown kept a smile on his face. Anybody remember that little thing? And so you would size it up. Boom! It bounced back up. My goal wasn't to knock it down. My goal was to knock the air out of it and break it. Y'all missed it. I was the only child for 15 years. I had a lot of games. Boom! Come back up with a smile. And guess what? That's how some of you been in 2018. And the reason why we don't know what you've been through. Because every day you say, God, I'm going to get up. I don't care what hit me. I don't care what attacks me. This is the day. That the Lord has made. I wish I had some friends. I choose to rejoice. Now some of y'all chose to be miserable all year long. But there's some of us been through hell and back. But can I tell you why you don't know it? Because we got some bounce back. Give somebody a high five. Say, I got bounce back. I got some bounce back on the inside of me. I got something in me so strong that the devil, na 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 na, I'm still standing. Touch three people say, smile. Smile through it. Live your best life. Open up your mouth. Smile and let the devil know. I might have fallen, but I'm getting back up. A just man. Fall seven times. I'm almost finished, man. All of this is it for the year. I want to deal with something right now. Because some of you have made some errors, some mistakes. And you're allowing a spirit of guilt to stop you from moving forward. You're letting guilt hold you back. I've talked to many people this year who have done some things in their past that they're totally ashamed of. Guess what? You're not the only one. And it will be real cool if the church, if you could really be honest at church. What would y'all do during testimony service when somebody said, I'm a hoe? I'm a hustler. Y'all don't want to say nothing, church. Y'all don't want to say nothing. That's how the church should be. Because in order to get healed at the hospital, the patient has to be able to talk about the symptoms. Y'all missed it. Y'all not talking to me in here. Hallelujah. But we can't in this modern day church be honest because church folk will run their business all over town. your neighbor said let's get real in here let's start getting real let's stop being phony hallelujah if we got issues and we all have them we ought to be able to get it out so God can pick us up again if somebody told you their real stuff and their real testimony some of you would toot your little spiritual noses up when you know you got some stuff in your closet that you don't want nobody to know about touch your neighbor say yeah i got some stuff i ain't gonna tell you what it is but it ain't good Come on, tell them I got some stuff. I made some mistakes. I've fallen short. Not just when I was in the world, but since I've been saved. Church, kill me. We got to stop lying in the church. You do sleep with people that's not your husband or wife. You do sleep with men, sleep with women. Come on, we got to be honest in the church. 
somebody shout, I just want to be free. I just want to get up again. I just want to walk in my anointing. I just want to be who God wants me to be. Y'all not ready for me in 2019. Y'all better get ready. Tell your neighbor, we going to another level. We about to bounce back. A just man, a church man, a church woman, a pastor, a deacon, an usher for seven times. But the difference between us and the world, the world stays down, but the believer keeps bouncing back. I wish I had somebody in here. Look at somebody and say, until you see me. You ain't seen bouncing back. I've been through hell, but I've got some bounce back. I've been through the storm, but I've got some bounce back. I've had people walk off and abandon me, but I have some bounce back. Things are not the way you want them to be, but you ought to lift your hands and thank the Lord that the Lord didn't let you die, but he picked you up again. And if anybody asks you, what's the matter with me? Tell them I'm saved, I'm sanctified. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Listen, I guess I'll go here. Sorry, I, I, I had a lot of points for y'all, but I'm preaching it how God has given it to me now. See, there's something. I'll, I'll end it here. There's something known as yeast. Yeast. Y e a s t. Oh, y'all, y'all got it. Somebody cook. This thing called yeast. Y'all ain't even gotta sit down because I'm going. I'm promise you. When you put this yeast in dough and you stir it up, it cannot be detected. It's in there, but nothing happens when it's in the dough. Am I right about it? It's invisible, but yet it's highly effective. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go. Yeast only responds to heat. Y'all can look at me crazy if you want. I said yeast only responds to heat. When the heat is on the yeast, that's when it begins to rise. I'm going to say that again. I said when the heat is on the yeast, it rises. The warmer the circumstance, the greater the reaction. All right, y'all going to catch it in a minute. Yeah, I'm telling you, I got two minutes. I said, uh, the warmer the circumstance, the greater the reaction. Can I tell you what God does as I get ready to go to my seat? God sets us up in warm, uncomfortable situations. Y'all missed it. When the devil tries it, he does it to burn you. God does it to build you up and bless you. Y'all missed it. And that's why some of y'all are to give God praise for every hot situation you've been through this year. That's an indication you're about to rise. Tell somebody to say, I'm about to rise. I'm about to go to another level. I'm about to go all the way up. And so here we are. Knocking at 2019. But yet you keep rising over and over again. You're not a failure when you fall. It's only if you don't get back up. And if you get up just one more time than you've fallen, then you're a success. Because that's called failing forward. Before you go into your 2019, you got to make up your mind now that you're going to be relentless. You got to start being 
Relentless. Relentless. What do you mean, Pastor? It's a word I use for people who refuse to give up. No matter what. Don't give up on your family. Don't give up on your health. Don't give up on your finances. Don't give up on your future. Don't give up. But just keep bouncing back. Be like that energizer bunny. You may fall, but you get up and keep going and going and 